Saturday, September 10th. Um, this weekend is going to be a hopefully productive weekend, catching up on some lectures and doing some studying, as well as like cleaning my space and sort of resetting for the next week. I just finished my third week of med school, so quite a lot has already gone on, and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that um, later on in the video. If you saw my morning routine video, you might have seen that I have to wake up pretty early during the week, so I took the chance to sleep in today. You now it's currently 11, I have to quickly hop on a housing call because my roommate's trying to find a sublet. And yeah, be right back. I headed over to a cafe on Main Street and got this iced latte, which was really good. I personally love the ambient noise and music in a cafe, and I feel like it really helps me stay focused for a long afternoon of studying. So I started off this study session making some updates to my lecture tracker. Here is sort of how it looks like right now. Essentially, I have the date, the lecture, and then how I feel about it each time I see that content, as well as approximately how long I've studied it to make sure I'm having like a balanced study schedule. And then today I decided to add a separate tab for learning objectives, which I think might be helpful when I'm reviewing for exams, but we'll see. Right now, I feel like I'm at that point where I'm still trying out a bunch of different things to see what works best for me. So study techniques and like habits that I'm trying out in this video might not necessarily be like the most optimal or something that I'm gonna continue in the future, but you really never know until you try. I'll break down what I'm currently doing just for you guys to get an idea. Um, right now, I just quickly review through the slides of the week and if there's any like processes or like systems that are physiological, I try to draw them out to help me get a better understanding. Then I'll write any key points down that are new for me or that I don't really understand on a Google Doc. I know there's too much content to take notes on everything, so I try to really pull out the key points that I'm unsure of or that I know I'll forget in the future. And to supplement this, I've also started to make Anki cards, which I'll touch a little bit more upon later in the video. It's 5.30 now, I just got home from the cafe. Um, I didn't realize today was the mid-autumn festival until my dad called me. So right now I'm actually gonna head over to an Asian bakery to try to find some mooncakes. I don't even really like mooncakes, but I'm gonna be calling some family and you know, the cultural significance. So I'm gonna go walk and try to go pick them up. Um, the closest like Asian store near me is like 2.5 kilometers. So I'm gonna head out now and hopefully I can be back in around an hour. prep dinner I made some rice yesterday with some oven roast and chicken breast pepper and like these green Asian vegetables <laughs> it's 11 o'clock I'm about to go to sleep but I before I do I thought I'd just quickly talk about how the first few weeks of med have been it's crazy that it's already been three weeks but each week itself feels super long if that makes sense um, the first two weeks were a lot of like orientation and review stuff there wasn't really any um, themes that we were following but it was rather just like an introduction to med school and a review of different concepts we learned in undergrad, MCAT, uni. Then this week was like our first real content week and we did it on fetal development. So essentially how my schedule looks um, starting next week is that I'll have Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings we have CBL which is case-based learning and essentially the whole week follows along one case and it sort of like grows and develops throughout the week. Um, there's prompting questions before every session, which you're supposed to research independently, so that way you can contribute to the group discussion during the tutorial. And I didn't really know how this was gonna go, but I really love my group, and the first week went super well, so I'm excited for the second week. And then after that, we typically have four content lectures, we have two, then lunch, and then two more. And then on Monday afternoons, we have something called FOSS, which I don't really know what it is because we haven't had it yet. And then on Wednesdays and Fridays, we either have an anatomy or histology lab. And then Tuesday and Thursday mornings, I typically have them off. Right now, I head over to Diamond Healthcare Center um, to do some communication skills. So this is where we work on interacting with volunteer and standardized patients and sort of developing the skills of like history taking. And then on Thursday afternoons, I have family practice. Um, so basically we're paired up with, with a preceptor somewhere near the Vancouver region. I haven't gone to my placement yet. Um, I think that should be starting up in the next couple of weeks. So 
interesting to see how that goes even undergrad i feel like there were some courses where i was like this content is not that interesting or i don't really want to be here but all the experiences that i've had so far um in med have been so like enriching and i'm so grateful for this opportunity coming in i didn't really have a specialty that i was like gunning for um i did have a few in mind that i didn't want to do and one of those was ob just because i don't know like delivering babies uh, in my head i just couldn't see myself doing that but after learning this week's content i'm like it's so interesting and there's like so much you have to consider and so many layers to it and all of a sudden i'm like Maybe I am interested in OB guy. <laughs> but yeah, since it's only the first few weeks, it's like a time of exploration and like figuring out how this all works. I would say one thing definitely that I'm getting used to is like the eight to five basically every day. In undergrad, to be honest, I didn't really go to lecture. I just watched the recordings and sort of did that on my own. But there's a quite a bit more elements here that are like mandatory and in person. So I've basically gone from home from like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every night. And then I come home, like cook, clean, shower, and then it's like bedtime. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely feel like I'm still trying to settle into a routine and figure out what works for me. But it's been a great experience so far. Hey, your time. I did reformer Pilates for the first time today. Two of my friends got me a gift card to Legree, so um, I decided to give it a try. It's definitely not cheap. Um, I bought the intro pass, which is like one week. You can do up to seven classes and it's $50. Um, each class normally is $37. So I don't know, I'm gonna do like a little test run this week and see if it's like worth integrating into my workout split or if it's just like something fun to do occasionally. Another lazy afternoon. Clouds covered in gray, third coffee of the day. This is the current set that I've been using. It's Daisy by Marc Jacob. I also quickly ate some avocado toast. So let's head out. Welcome to day two of studying. I went to a different cafe today and got an iced London fog. I feel like it's really easy to mess this up and make it taste too much like milk, but this one actually was pretty good. And today I started off reviewing a histology lab, which I missed last week. So I'm just watching the pre-lab video, going through the handout, and also annotating the different structures on my iPad. Then I started making Anki cards for this. So what I like to do for histology and anatomy is to take screenshots of the different structures and then use the image occlusion add-on um, to hide the labels and then try to identify what that is and then for the other content lectures i'll just either do like the basic and reversed card or i'll use clothes which is sort of like fill in the blank i'm still learning how to use anki and trying to figure out the most efficient way to do this but yeah i'll keep you guys posted throughout the semester Spent too many hours at the cafe, but afterwards I just walked along Main Street and dropped into a couple of stores that caught my eye. Um, I didn't really have the intention to buy anything, it was more so just to like check it out because it looked cool. On my way home, I picked up a sandwich. I really didn't want to cook today, um, and it's already been a long day, so a section of the sandwich. It's like not even warm. I have to say their turkey sandwich is better. My room is a bit messy right now, so I'm gonna do some cleaning. Uh, I just wanna sort of reset my space before a new week. So I'm just gonna reorganize, clean my floor, and then do some laundry. Um, True Earth recently sent me some of their laundry detergent strips. So I'm gonna give the fresh linen one a try today. They're eco-friendly, biodegradable, and apparently really easy to use. So let's give it a try. <laughs> And they got the place freshly cleaned except for the cleaners didn't vacuum under my bed so i'm maneuvering my bed around to try to vacuum it i sort of stuffed everything onto my desk so it's time to clean this up but i wanted to show you guys this new laptop stand that i just bought
That bath was so relaxing. Um, now I'm just gonna do some skincare. I still have to do some pre-readings and like prep for our case-based learning tomorrow. So each week we have a case that goes alongside the lecture content that we're learning. So we gotta prepare some knowledge before entering into the big group sessions. And you guys have probably seen enough of me studying for this video. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, but I have lots of vlogs and other content coming soon. So if you liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you all next week. Bye. Oh, yeah.